I got to get something off my chest. Do it, brother. Something that's been bothering me for as long as I've known about it. And I'm not saying it offends me, but I am saying it offends me. Wow. Which one is it? NFTs. <laughs> you know what NFT stands for? Anyway, humpback. What do you got, humpback? Non-functional transportation. Close. I'd rather have it mean that. Non-flying tyrannosaurus. That, oh, that's so close. Uh, it means non-fungible token. Like a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, yeah, you have these <laughs> non-fungible tokens. Like, oh, I can't get the pizza. Am I the only one who hears the word tokens and just thinks of Chuck E. Cheese? Because that's my that was my. No, name. I do. <laughs> I, I, I can see where you're coming from because hey, you just get tokens. I'm the only adult who thinks that. I'm, I'm <laughs> proud of that fact. We got to go to Chuck E. Do an yeah. episode of Chuck E. Cheese. Not sponsored by Chuck E. Cheese. So, yeah, I'm sure that cleared up what NFTs are, non-fungible tokens. I feel like everyone knows exactly what that means. Segment over. Done. Yep. Yeah. But if you if you haven't, we're going to go into a little, uh, what was that word you used a few episodes ago? No, not diction. Um, the word thing. That, etymology. Etymology. We're going to go into word things not <laughs> what the words mean themselves let's break it down non <laughs> expressing negation or absence so not there <laughs> fungible able to be replaced by another identical item something that is mutually interchangeable like dollars or you know if i had a grain of rice and you had a grain of rice and i was like you want to trade grains of rice we like, okay we, i think we'd both be okay with that trade and then we both now have still one grain of rice that's pretty comparable, even though, you know, maybe on a molecular level, they're slightly different. But Got it. Our, the value would still be the same. Uh, lastly, in token, a thing serving as a visible or tangible representation of a fact, quality, feeling, etc., things like that. So let's put them all together. We have something that is not mutually replaceable. So that is your phone and my phone. If I said, oh, let's swap phones. You'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. I have an iPhone, whatever. And I'd be like, yeah, but mine's an Android uh, S whatever. And But they're not the same, even though they're phones. But if I, like I said, uh, what if I gave you a dollar and you gave me a dollar? I'd be like, oh, okay, that's mutually. But the phones, they're not. Got it. Or like Special. Yeah. Or if we had two 1989 Toyota Camry st station wagons. Yeah. Like one of them has 300,000 miles on it. Which, you know, roughly, let's do some math. That's however, like, many kilometers. About seven. Yeah, more than, seven. More than seven, at least. Yeah, a little more than seven. Yeah, and then, then we have another one that was just kept in Grandma's garage, and she only drove it to church, <laughs> you know, on Sundays. Like, which if, was next door. Yeah, which was rec next door. And so, you know, if we had those two 1989. So less than seven meters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two 1989 Toyota Camry station wagons, they're not going to be valued the same, even though it's the same car i'm tracking um, with you so so i'm good i'm, I'm happy you clarified this yes. because i thought they were like indian bread with mushrooms on it shaped like a fungi Chuck E. cheese token yeah That'd non sweet uh, non. the non uh, fungible no. fungible <laughs> gar garlicly tokens fungible. i like it no. so i'm glad you cleared this all up yeah <laughs> well that's actually the you know definitions you got the one and the two that's the two definition that's a, <laughs> that's non, a drop it's down. a bread token that's with, the drop with <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> a bread token with mushrooms but, so but the nfts are like strictly strictly digital so okay. the, the the examples that I just used, you know, that was just to get us in the mindset. Yeah. So artwork, uh, images, trading cards, stuff like that. Like that's digital. Can't hold them in your hand. Basically, unless you got it on a whatever drive. Got so it. NFTs are based off Ethereum blockchain, although part um, of the Ethereum blockchain NFTs are different than the Ethereum coins. Because yeah. I could take, you could have one Ethereum coin and I can have Ethereum coin and we can do that trade thing and we'd be okay with it but if i had um you know an nft of i don't know me sitting on the toilet wiping my ass and you had one of uh you know picture of uh church kitten gabriel like are they equal i don't think so <laughs> I, that's <laughs> a conundrum could, i don't know which one i'd pay more for do. but just the idea I guess then I have the problem with all art. If, if I have a problem with NFTs, then I have a problem with all art. But I guess, you know, actual art is tangible. 
And you know, I'm not saying that you know creating NFTs isn't skill behind it, but I think they're just vastly overpriced and ridiculous. It's and the thing is that yes, you can buy an NFT, but you're only buying the ownership of the original right. production. But you, DJ Humpback, myself, anyone watching or listening, could go and download that same NFT. You wouldn't have, you know, the original, sure. but you'd have a copy of it. And there, I mean, yeah, you couldn't use it, but like you could still have it, view it, experience it. Yeah. I don't understand it. I don't understand the craze. I don't understand what's going on. So if you had to sum it up in like one sentence, what is bothering you about nfts that people are actually buying these things like that i'm i'm bothered that it's actually a thing that people are investing in and like okay, okay. To, to those who are the nft artists or selling nfts more power to you kudos i applaud that Can i we nft I, this episode of the podcast possibly oh. i mean we could probably maybe take a picture or something or make a gif out of something a moment um can you nft an audio file Ooh, well maybe i haven't seen that done yet uh, i don't know all right or we could take Spencer like a, this entire segment yeah. <laughs> take it back take it back. <laughs> no i mean it's already being done anyways like i don't know like maybe it could be like a uh, nft of me like miming like eating two different ice cream cones or something i don't know <laughs> let me ask you a question <laughs> Can you use that again? I didn't mean to breeze cream? past that, but <laughs> let me ask you a question. If you could make an NFT knowing you would make money off of it, even 10 bucks, yeah. would you do it? Oh, of course. Okay, so why do you not like them? I, th I just think it's it's idiotic. You're on the couch. You're on the couch. Yeah. DJ Humback and I are, are, are treating you right now yeah. with our little notepads and our, you know, what do you see when I hold this up to you kind of thing, you know? Rorschachs. Rorschachs. Uh, <laughs> Rorschachs. Rorschachs. <laughs> okay. No, I get what you're saying. I think the crazy part is the thing that bothers me is that it, it innately goes down into the the human psychology part of it. Of I have it and you don't. Yeah. That's the part that bothers me because it's a whole it's a total pride thing. But the thing is, even after you have it, I can still have it. I can have the nearly yeah. exact same thing with no degradation of quality. Yeah. You just have something in some blockchain information saying that you have the first one that was created. And that's where I agree with you that it's kind of dumb. When you buy something that's physical, say you buy the Mona yeah. Lisa, it's, it is the painting. Yes. It is the one that Leonardo DiCaprio painted. <laughs> exactly. He was <laughs> on the ship painting Mona Lisa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Naked. Naked. And the jewel of the sea or whatever. And that's why it's so valuable. But but the point is, the point is, like, it happened. Yeah. Now, somebody did sit at their computer and their tablet and did draw up the digital yeah. art. So, yeah, like, that's, that's somebody did the capabilities. It, but you can't hold it. I, I guess I get it. You're, you're owning the data and people, as they get further and further in the metaverse, it's like they are owning ones and zeros anyway. And they're yeah. owning the crazy thing that blows my mind is digital real estate that people are buying. That's another thing. And digital real estate? Yes. Like you know more about this than not really. Okay. But I just know about it. Some Ready Player One shit. They're yes. just buying houses, but they're they're pre-selling it. They're they're buying. They're selling code. Sometimes it has you can see the digital version of it, and I think the idea is that eventually it will be insertable into the metaverse, and you can just plop it in. It's like, it's like Animal Crossing, yeah. where you have your house and then you upgrade your house and you do stuff. Yeah. And so they're pre-selling it, and people are buying into it. It's all speculative. Yeah. This all sounds like like elaborate Club Penguin, I'm going to be honest. That's all it is. Just You guys remember that shit? No. Like, when you were kids and everybody like got on the computer in class and you're supposed to be doing the, <laughs> the thing. Wait it's a like, second. It's like, it's like I, I am Club Penguin. Is what it was. And everyone just hangs out, but like... One kid's got a party hat, so he's cooler than you. And the kid's got like the base <laughs> okay, package. Yeah, I kind of remember this. It was like in the early Same days, instant messenger. Yeah, 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 like Farmville, all that. Capitalize on yeah. those games. Okay, I remember this. Do you have like ghetto houses in the metaverse? I don't know. Well, what is it? Was like some guys paid half a million or something to have a virtual house next to Snoop Dogg's virtual house in, <laughs> in whatever this was. Don't quote me on the, like the numbers, but it was some guy paid an absurd amount of money to have his virtual house next to Snoop Dogg's, which to me, you know, having a virtual world, you could be anywhere that you want to be in the 
virtual world and just as is that just to say you have a house next to Snoop Dogg's house? Because, you know, is, how often is Snoop Dogg going to be in the virtual world? He's living his own life. He's, he's doing Nat Geo and stuff and Super and Bowl Super shows. Bowl. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Every time you walk past his front door. <laughs> That's his doorbell. He, <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. Amazon. Nah, 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 nah. How much do you think NFTs, uh, the highest NFTs? That's what I'm for? looking at right now because the one thing that's crazy is one person sells an NFT for some, uh, like, they sell it for a certain yeah. amount and they realize they can do it and then they just like do the same thing over a million times. Yeah. But they never sell it for that price again. Well, the thing is, so it's like if you're the creator of an NFT, I was doing uh, doing some reading. It's once you sell it, like then it's, you know, the owner of the next person. The next person can hold on to it and then resell it at, you know, higher value, lower value, whatever. But the uh, creator still gets a little kickback from whenever oh. each time it's transferred. So. What? I'm I'm saying let's get into it. Get in the crate. I I, th- I think it's still so stupid. Um, buy our NFTs though. Yeah, buy our <laughs> NFTs. Maybe I Don't shouldn't. Don't deter have people. That. That. No, but I, I if people want to spend their money and support artists, I am for that. I'm I'm for supporting people doing, you know, supporting creative outlets of people. I I think that's that's a great thing, and maybe I should look at it that way, but. It's just it, it's mind blowing that you know. So who is this? Beeples. Yeah, I'm looking. He did the uh, first five thousand days. I think this is him, or someone did this. Uh, I don't know why I didn't write down who did it, but first five thousand days. This artist said, uh, 2007. I'm going to start doing a piece of art every single day. Yeah. This has been the most expensive NFT ever sold by to one owner. So one person owns right. this. It's a collage of five thousand pieces of like little tiny cells of of all these arts for 69.3 million dollars oh, or equivalent ethereum you know blockchain sure, sure but that's the equivalent that it sold for 69.69 nice so i didn't do the math yeah which is probably something i should have about 69 divided by five thousand. i don't know what that comes to <laughs> You it, yeah, you could do. But that. still, you have a computer. Is that like one hundred twenty thousand a, a picture? Yeah, I mean it doesn't matter. In fact, if you could sell a picture for a hundred dollars, it's great. Yeah, a digital one. I I guess, man, it's just people think it's part of the future and they're getting in on yeah. it soon. I think it's also that again, it goes down. I think it's just fu money. I think it's yeah. just people going. I can spend this, and this is this is it. Oh, that's a movie we're gonna make in the future. Wow. In the no, in the metaverse. Oh. NFT thieves. Yeah. They're like oh. jumping through space and have upgrades and stuff. They come flying onto your planet. And they, Tron. they heist your bleep your people art hanging up on your wall. Snoop Dogg sees it from his his metaverse house and is like, na 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 na. Yeah. And like skedaddles over to the phone, <laughs> calls somebody else. The the metaverse cops come chase you. It's just a con it's just it's just copy pasted like avatars of Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> and just so you know, $69 million divided by 5,000 is $13.8 thousand. Oh, okay. So it's 12,000. Yeah. Still. Did, yeah. Selling a painting for $1,000. I'd be yeah, proud of That's, that. hey, that's great. But the thing is, I can find this 5, 000, first 5,000 days art piece and experience it in the same capacity right as the owner of this I'm who paid right 70 million for it it's not like you're, you're saying the mona lisa or uh what the most expensive art piece ever sold leonardo Le- leonardo da vinci's um salvatore mundi yeah the picture of uh, jesus or the thought yeah. to be jesus making the sign of the cross holding right. the orb right um for you know 500 million 450 jesus. whatever jesus. um but you know, probably looking at that, that would be, you know, it'd be a massive piece like yeah. to experience like on the on a computer screen. It's whatever, 15 inches. Like, OK, I, I can appreciate it. But like being in front of it is a different experience. So I 100 percent agree with you. And I can speak to my personal experience that I always point to is the Grand Canyon, where I s- grew up. I was 18, 19 when I saw it in person. And up until that point, I've been exposed to so many different images and videos of it just because of the world we live in. And when I went out there and actually saw it, I thought we were driving up and I said, this isn't going to be that cool. Like, it's going to be boring. I've seen this before. Yeah. And you get to the edge and something happens to you. The awe of it. And awe is a 
wider field of psychology now and how awe impacts people and how it's gone down in our modern times because of exposure through the internet. I I think that if I haven't seen the Mona Lisa, I think someday I'd like to. And I know the experience is pretty reverential for people when they walk up to it because obviously you know you're about to do it. It's in a very kind of isolated place in the Louvre and, and you just kind of witness it, right? That's the word I would use, witness it. Yeah. And it's right in front of you, 10 feet away, five feet away, whatever. And it's a, an experience. I don't see how that translates to NFTs. Because I'm, I'm looking at people's thing right now. Yeah. And that doesn't really do much for me. And so, I, again, just I tie this back to just like pride and human nature of just, I have it. Yeah. And you don't. And the only time I think that it could eventually be impactful is if you're in the metaverse. Every, you got your Oculus goggles on and your bodysuit and whatever, and you walk into whatever dude's house next door to a Snoop Dogg, and <laughs> you wave to him, and na 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 na, and then you're yeah. in the house and it's up on his wall in his virtual world. Like that's the only time I th- could think that it would have any type of impact on you. Yeah. Because other than that. I'm looking at all these NFTs, nothing. You're experiencing it the exact same as the owner who paid millions. The only cool one is the uh, Julian Assange one. Did you ever see that one? No. It's a clock that just counts every day how many oh. how many days Julian Assange has been uh, I have then. imprisoned. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I mean, that's a cool concept, but why not put it in a device? I thought it was Assange. That's why I didn't recognize <laughs> Assange. Assange. But yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's. Um, is it a song? Is a singy? No, you're probably right. I, I, that one. That one's the third highest one because it's you know a collective of you know people putting into that, and it's fifty. It was sold at fifty-two million to all these people, and the highest one that sold was uh, for thirty thousand collectors, but it sold at like ninety-one million <laughs> value, um, called the merge packs. The merge. Um, my wait. question is, sorry, really quick. No, yeah, yeah. When you buy that, because when you buy a piece of art, the idea is that it becomes, if you were to buy a Picasso and Picasso was alive in painting and then Picasso becomes the icon he is. Yeah. The value of that painting goes up. Like that's what's going to be interesting. Ste- next step. Do these NFTs go up in value over time or do they just crash and burn? Like, I don't know. That is going to be interesting to see. But clearly, people are hoping that you know value goes up. Yeah, but there's nothing to hang that on. And what if what if the whole network goes down? Then I guess you know the money doesn't even matter. Well, they anymore. tell people to back it up. On okay. Hard well, drives. now you got these hard drives. But what if computers never work ever again? <laughs> <laughs> Worst case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> then okay. But then I guess you know Bitcoin wouldn't matter either. If, or, <laughs> if computers or just cease to work, you got bigger problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your NFTs shitting out. <laughs> you got way bigger problems. Yeah. What if like we're going backwards though? You have Amazon starts buying re- buying real estate in the digital universe, Whoa. and they open up digital store next to Snoop Dogg house <laughs> that is a physical digital store that sells NFTs and then we're all back to oh, square one. Snoop Dogg's like I can't it's, live here with all this traffic yeah I, I can't even hear my doorbell it's not like, the neighborhood I moved into <laughs> and then he moves yeah and then all those NFTs just crash <laughs> worthless. worthless it's not even worth no, anything because no, 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 no. it's <laughs> <laughs> It's that. worthless because you can't even go live on it. You can't farm on it. You can't put food on it. Yeah. That would be cold. That would be cold. 